This is an average man of average wants and desires. He is not entirely a creature of free will, as he has three governing factions, the heart, the mind, and the penis. The heart believes what it sees in the movies. It believes in beauty and romance. Most of all, it believes in true love. The mind, on the other hand, believes in careful decisions, practicality, and that having a good solid life mate is healthy and the natural order of things. The penis, however, is willing to believe anything if it means he can take a dip in the near future. For example, let's say our average man is on a first date with a woman, and he finds her attractive, and they are getting along fine, and things are going pretty well. The heart is going to be giddy with anticipation. The mind is going to say that there is potential for a relationship. The heart will want to serenade under her window with a ukulele. The mind will say that it's too early to tell if she will make a good mate. The heart will dream that one day soon he will embrace her in his arms. The mind will say that it could be a mistake to be too sexually assertive too early. But what would penis do? Penis will start yelling his brains out in an effort to drown out the advice of heart and mind. Penis will then say that if tomorrow you get hit by a car or get eaten by a shark or a nuclear bomb blows up the world, this could be your last chance to have sex for the rest of your life. Penis will say that if you mess up the prospect of a relationship by sleeping together too early, then the relationship wasn't really meant to be anyway. Penis will then settle into chanting, Me Tarzan, me want to bring Jane to treehouse. By the same token, let's say that average man meets a woman and things aren't going very well at all. He may find her attractive, but they have very different interests, and the conversation is flowing like gum from a tree. The heart is going to be disappointed. The mind is going to say that this is not the girl for you. The heart is going to start daydreaming about its ideal mate. The mind is going to get a little bored and starts thinking of a good excuse to cut the date short and go home. The heart prepares to bid Milady farewell and hopes that she finds her prince charming as he is to journey to find his princess. But what would penis do? Penis is going to say that there are only 365 days in a year, and one must do what one can to make as many of them as memorable as possible. Penis will try to talk the mind into keeping the conversation going long enough in hopes that penis can take over the conversation later on. Penis then says that if you at least go for it, he will give you an E for effort on your report card. Now penis isn't all bad, but let's just say that he isn't especially bright. Penis is actually kind of insecure. Even though he tries to be egotistical, he needs constant reinforcement that he is a good and desired penis. Penis also has something to prove, and every penis wants to have the most adventures that he can brag about to other penises in the locker room. But penis doesn't even have any idea if he is the penis of a human being with the average lifespan of 74 years, or the penis of a mayfly with the lifespan of a day, so he always figures that he had better get cracking. Penis also gets a lot of encouragement from his two companions, although they are primarily interested in genealogy. At the root of it, Penis probably just wants to be loved, but he also thinks the key to being loved is just being penisly. Penis is also totally reckless, and Penis wouldn't think twice about ruining your life for a half hour of fun. Let's say that the average man is in a relationship that is going very well, and they get along and have a lot in common, and everything is fine. Heart is going to be comfortable and satisfied. Mind is going to say that you've got a good thing going. Both will agree that it would be nice and relaxing to go out to the bar tonight and chat with people with no pressure to hook up as we are now officially off the market. But what would Penis do? Penis will say that if there is no harm in randomly chatting with people, then surely there is also no harm in randomly chatting with good-looking girls. Penis will say that he just wants to know if he is still a charming and worthy penis. Penis will then gently suggest that you try to keep your pickup skills well honed just in case your girlfriend dumps you. Heart and mind will pipe in here and warn you that you are doing the wrong thing, and Penis will philosophically reply, who is to say what is right and what is wrong? So now Penis is calling the shots, and Penis is the life of the party. Penis then starts talking to someone he finds particularly compelling. Heart and mind will remind you of your girlfriend, and Penis will say that if you sleep with someone else and don't have a good time, that will prove how in love with your girlfriend you really are. So what would Penis do? I don't know, but maybe nothing that you have not already done yourself, whether you have a penis or not.